Um, what about Panteric? Could they beat you drinking? Um, Dimebag probably would give us a good run, I'm sure, yeah. Uh, I'm not aware of, you know, any the rest of them, you know, not that much of a drinker as far as I knew. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Rap retards attempting poetry. That's a good one. Uh, that's a. Uh, I gotta remember that. <laughs> uh, do you think there will be a war between Russia and Ukraine next year? I hope not. I mean, you know, but you never know. I mean, there's you got a bunch of crazy people running around, you know, with guns over there. You know, so. Do you <laughs> have you? Do you think to have sex when you're playing in a show? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> the worst gig I've ever played. Um, I would. <laughs> what is that place, Rob? Um, what is it, Coral Springs? Something Springs, yeah, somewhere in. In Colorado, it was some. You know, what was that place? Colorado Springs. Yeah, Colorado Springs. It's got to be like one of the war shows. Uh, there, you know, there was like a couple other ones. I mean, thank God, you know, we don't get too many of those nowadays. You know, hopefully they're gone for good. You know, we just go out and basically drink ourselves Fort into Collins. oblivion. Fort Collins. That's Fort it. Collins, that's Colorado. it. Yeah, yeah. Eighteen page. Um, have you ever heard of Xantrix? Well, yeah. Come on. Detroit Harpos. Uh, Berserk. Yeah, well, you book it, we'll show up. <laughs> That's your favorite place, right? <laughs> uh, what do you think about Fred Durst? Well, biggest douchebag, not just in metal. I mean, that would, that would be insulting to call it, you know, whatever the hell he's doing metal. Uh, so, yeah, exactly. It's lame that I even had to say his name. Thank you. Uh, you <laughs> have you heard 49 Grit? Well, duh. <laughs> Exodus Ice, Ice Earth co headline. Why not? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like I said, we don't book the shows. I mean, you know, it, it has not been proposed to us. So. You know, it's not like we just call, you know, I start and go, let's go ahead, call headline. You know, maybe they don't want to do it with us. I mean, who knows? Um, <laughs> have you been to any exotic little unknown countries? Mm, uh, I mean... I don't, I don't think so. I mean, and, you know, it's like you just go to exotic places in some countries, but, you know. What do you think of the new Flyers coach? We better get his shit together, you know. I mean, this whole no fighting rule, I mean, that's, that's really not for the Flyers. I mean, I, that's not Flyers hockey to me. But, you know, I'll go with it. I mean, if, you know, if, if they can win then fine, everybody's going to forget about, you know, the whole no fighting rule. But if they don't, you know, eh, you know. Will Exodus come back to Japan with Heathen? Uh, probably, you know, I mean, who knows? I mean, you know, we're getting, you know, getting some interest from over there, so you never know. I mean, maybe next year, you know, we'll do a few shows there. If you had a chance to kill a poser, which would be him? Brett Michaels or Nikki Six? Brett Michaels. Uh, I like. I like. I actually like Motley Crue. You know, I don't consider them posers, because uh, I mean they do what they do. To me, posers is like if you're actually doing something, you know, and 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 not. It's not about the music. It's more about your image and all that. You know, more than you know the music. And I, I think that that was the case with you know, poison, but Nikki Six, I mean, he's really into what he does, so I can't call him poser. I mean, we did back in the day, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> Half-assed answers. Well, you know, what, what do you want? I mean, there's a lot of, you know, questions to it. 
This is why the Panzer Stanley Cup Cup's champ. Your flyers can't get your shit together. Well, yeah, I agree. You know, I'm not gonna argue with that. Any of you guys play any video games? Um, Rob does. You yeah. know, what pickups do you use? Um, I use ZMG pickups, uh, 81s and 85s. Um, have you ever got into a physical fight with any of the bands you toured with? Um, not since I was in the band, I don't think. I mean, almost. I mean, it came close. I mean, I know our crew did. Um, uh, what do you think of World Painted Blood? I haven't heard the whole thing. I mean, Rob played me, you know, some songs. And it sounded killer, I think. It's like the best ex uh, Slayer album in a while, you know. Let's see what else we got here. It's been over an hour. Iron Maiden or Judas Priest? I would have to go with Priest. You know, I mean, I mean, love Maiden. Don't get me wrong, but Sabbath with Dio or Ozzy? Again, I mean, I'm a big Rainbow fan, so I would have to go with Dio. I mean, but I, you know, I love Ozzy. I mean, they made a lot of you know good albums with with Ozzy, also. So, do you like Cynic? Yeah, I do. Uh, favorite movie? I would have to say Godfather. I think we already answered that. Uh, were you guys ever fans of Mano or not? Me personally, I think that Gary liked the first and, or second album, whatever it was. Uh, I always thought they were a joke, kind of Spinal Tap, but I prefer Spinal Tap because at least they're they're funny, you know, for real. I mean, these guys are just... Men of War is just a big joke to me, you know. I never got it. I never understood what the hell, you know, they were trying to accomplish. Mm. Let's see. Gary likes cheese metal. Well, what is cheese metal? What is Man of War? Huh? Man uh, oh, Man of War. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, I get it now. Yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess he does. I want you guys to play at my university. I, I don't know, where's your university? Who's better, King Diamond or Rob Halford? Uh, I would have to go with Rob Halford. You know, I'm a big Priest fan. Um, I mean, I love Merciful Fate, too, and King Diamond, but, you know, Rob Halford is like metal god, come on. Which album, uh you think is the worst metal album. Well, again, I would have to go with Manowar. I mean, probably one of them. It's got to be up there. Yeah. Do you guys play pranks on each other? All the time we play pranks on each other. You know? um, I mean, you know, one of the rules, I mean, I'm sure you heard about that. You know, if you pass out from drinking on the bus and you don't make it to your bunk, you know, the Sharpie is going to come out and... You're gonna wake up with makeup the next day, you know. I like mess with Gary a little bit. Uh, before you were in the band, which was your favorite Exodus gig? Um, Ruthie's in, yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of those shows were awesome. I mean, um, also, you know. I mean, there, there was a lot of, I mean, great shows. I mean, anytime Exodus played back in the days, it was not to be missed, you know. Um, what, do you th what do you think of Endgame? I, I like it. I mean, I like, I like it better than the last one. You know, so I guess they can thank Andy for that. Who was your guitar master? Uh, I didn't didn't have a guitar master, unfortunately. Maybe that would help me play better. Um, what is your favorite beer? Uh, right here. That well, in America, that's that's my favorite beer. But uh, you know, going to to Europe, I mean, obviously a lot of great beer there. I I, I like Weizen beer, and I also like uh, Alt beer. Elephant from beer. from Dusseldorf, uh, yeah, that's one of my favorites. Loudness, Exodus, and Wolfgangs. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> Do you like pro wrestling? Uh, no, I don't. Sorry. 
have you used angle for any of your tracks on the album well yeah of course uh, what do you think about Steve Souza? I mean, you know, I mean, I like Zed. I mean, I got nothing against Zed. I mean, we get along. Um, you know, people always think it's like a personal thing. I mean, that he's not in the band. I mean, like there's a, some kind of a war going on. I mean, it's like, no, I mean, not at all. I mean, you know, he left the band. I mean, that was his choice. And, you know, but it, that doesn't mean that we're not, you know, we're still friends.